Now let's check in with meteorologist Foggy Fry, who's live at Harrisburg Elementary School trying to teach the second graders a thing or two about the weather. <laughs> How's your class going, Melissa? Oh, it's going great so far, Bob. I'm here in Harrisburg at Harrisburg Elementary School. And can all the second graders say hello? I do have a very captive audience out here, Bob, and we are going to talk a little bit about weather and meteorology and how do we forecast the weather. We're going to learn all about that. Uh, but first, I want to let you know at home what you can expect for your weather today. Take a look at current conditions outside. We've been sitting in the mid-30s, and it's even a little bit foggier as you head out here into Harrisburg. And those temperatures will hold in the mid 30s until this fog does manage to break, which really is right here in the central and southern Willamette Valley, uh, much like what we've seen many days this week. But you can see on the satellite picture that we are seeing clear skies. It's clear at the coast. It's also clear across the Cascades and for much of southern Oregon. And I think we're going to get there today. Some sun breaks on the way uh, for later this afternoon. We have some east winds setting up, which will hopefully clear out that fog. So temperatures getting back to about 40 degrees here by 1 o'clock. As we head later into this afternoon, should get more sunshine 43 that'll be our high today at about four o'clock and then as soon as that sun sets tonight much like what we saw last night that fog will quickly form again tonight temperatures dropping right back down into the mid 30s and it's gonna be another chilly start to the day but i think we have some decent chances at some more sunshine i'll have that forecast coming up here in just a little bit bob back to you and i had Thank the you. opportunity to head out to the second grade classrooms uh, for mrs grassman tucker and jackson's classes and they got that lesson in forecasting yesterday they were able to hop right into the complex weather experiments because I actually visited the same group of students last year in first grade it was so fun to see how they had uh, improved and grown over the years they made cold water sink and hot water rise and it even made some fog of their own as if there wasn't enough outside. So great scientists and very inquisitive students. The rest of pop, but the red went down to the blue now it's black. The hot water, it gets colder so it sinks down. They know what they're talking about. They may only be second graders, but they are well on their way to be future meteorologists. Now, if you have a weather question or want one of our meteorologists to visit your school, just head over to the classroom section of the weather page on KEZI.com.